Gupta, the chairman emeritus of Tata Group, is not known for quoting controversy. But on a peaceful Sunday evening, Tata took to Twitter and opened a can of worms through his post title 520 rule and vested interests. Coming ahead of the new aviation policy, the post, aimed at airlines such as Indigo, Spicejet, Go Air and Jet, accuses these older players of using their monopolistic advantage to lobby for the 520 rule that restricts new entrants AirAsia India and Vistara from flying overseas. His post says, and I quote, the lobbying for discriminating policies between old and new airlines is reminiscent of protectionist and monopolistic pressures by vested interest entities who seem to fear competition, as in a variety of other sectors over the years. These protectionist moves have held back progress in India compared with open economies that have thrived on competition overseas. Under the 520 rule, an airline has to complete five years of operations and have at least 20 aircraft to be able to fly abroad. This means AirAsia India, which is less than two years old with six aircraft, and Vistara, which is a year old and has nine aircraft, cannot fly to international destinations. Now, the Civil Aviation Ministry in its draft policy has offered three options on the 520 rule, one of which is to scrap the rule altogether. The option Ratan Tata is cheering for. His post went on to say, One hopes when the new policy is introduced, it will be free of discrimination and protectionism, so that Indian aviation can grow for the benefit of consumer and the common man, not to serve the interest of select beneficiaries of protectionism. Not surprisingly, the older airlines have not let his accusation slide. In a strongly worded rebuttal, Spicejet Chairman Ajay Singh says all the 520 rule asks is that airlines serve the domestic market before obtaining profitable rights to fly abroad and that abolishing this rule now would be discrimination against older airlines. Reports quote him as saying, we served with great pride. What is wrong if these two foreign controlled airlines are also asked to serve India before being allowed to fly international? This is clearly not a battle that will be resolved quickly and leaves the aviation ministry with a tightrope walk ahead of it. But most experts believe that should the 520 rule go, both AirAsia India and Vistara will be able to take advantage of their partners' vast global networks and fly their way out of a storm and into healthier skies. In Mumbai, Farah Bakwala, Vora.